now we've got the dashboard on and you can see the voltmeter working. Now if I turn off the oil pump with this right switch here, watch what happens to the oil uh, the voltmeter. Slowly climbs back up to around 14. So that shows you what kind of juice that oil pump pulls. It pulls it down to 11, and then when you turn the fan on, you actually go below 12, which means you'd be drawn down on the battery. Now, not a lot, but I think on a long ride, it, it would drain your battery and it wouldn't start. So that's one motivation for trying to go to an all-DC system. Well, let's turn the uh, oil pump back on. We'll get some oil flowing through the system. And now, with this switch, we'll turn it to the left, and that will turn on the left sensor, uh, which will measure the hot oil coming out of the uh, engine case before it goes through the cooling system. So I'll turn that on, and we'll see if it, uh, what we get on the temperature gauge. We're seeing about 160, 165, maybe a little more. Now, the crux of the matter will be when we turn over to the right sensor, which is after it's gone through the radiator and past the pump, are we going to see any difference in temperature? So we're going to turn the switch over to the right side which will actuate the right temp sensor and I didn't see much difference there let's go back to the left that's the hot side and now the right side. Well, if anything, the right side should be a little lower, but it's reading a little hotter. Well, let's turn the fan on and see if that does any good. We'll let that run a second and see if that makes any difference. And you can see the volts are being pulled down below 12, so that's a draw on the battery. It's going into negative territory right now. So this is okay for an experimental scooter, but somebody that had all the regular lights pulling on it instead of just a tail light and a brake light and a headlight, it would draw down pretty fast. So this is gonna need more charging capability to use this system. Well, we've been running the fan a minute, so let's try the uh, temperature. We'll turn on the left side, coming out of the engine, and see what we read. And up around 170. And now we'll go over to the right side where it should be a little cooler. And you can see the fan made a big difference. We dropped about five or 10 degrees there due to the fan. So, as far as radiational cooling goes, without a fan, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to have some airflow assistance for this to do any good. And that's coming down really nice. We're coming down to about 160, even a little lower with the fan on. This is a fan from Silicone Intakes. They also sold the uh, oil cooler to me. The fan draws about three amps, a little less. It's the oil cooler that sucks all the juice. All right, let's go back to the 
left sensor, the hot sensor, and see what it does. Turning it on now. And it bumped up a few degrees. I think by this time it's probably got all the oil cooled down and so we won't get such a differential as we did when I first turned it on. But you can definitely see the that's the left side, that's the hot side. And then we go over to the right side. And yeah, it's decidedly lower. So we're getting 5, 10 degree drop from the hot side to the cool side after it goes through the cooling system. But the fan has to be on. Without that fan on, it just doesn't do much. So once more the hot side. And turn it back to the cool side. Very good. It's working great. Big differential.